What's up, YouTube? It is Friday. It's officially the weekend, Memorial Day weekend. So we got a long weekend. I'm just getting off of work. So I am about to get in my car and head home, get to my baby and enjoy our Friday night. Uh, work was pretty chill today. Like, I didn't really, like, it wasn't busy. It was kind of slow, actually, but cool at the same time. Everybody was just on some chill vibes today. But, yeah, let me get ready to go. And I will see y'all when I get home. So we can let the weekend begin. Back home, and look who is here, who is also home from work. We got the Chipotle. Yes, it hit better the second time around. It really does. <laughs> but yeah, we both home from work. We just chilled for a little bit, but then we about to step out to go grab some things and then come back and make some dinner. And I'm gonna make salmon over mashed potatoes and Maybe some green beans or broccoli as a side. One or the other. But I just gotta say, these weeks are going fast as fuck. <laughs> because I feel like we just left the weekend like two days ago. And we're right back on the week. Right back. Yeah. <laughs> the weekends have been feeling longer though. Like, okay. Fun like them, them bitches go by They go fast. <laughs> yeah. Time. Weekends be going by fast too. It's just time. Period is going fast. It's like you really gotta live in the moment because it was just in a blink of an eye, just go. I said that on my blog. <laughs> you did? Yeah. <laughs> I just said very same talk. It was like, um, like man, the weekend went by fast, the week come by fast. Like, what can you do? You can't stop time. So right. Just live in the moment. Yes, that's all you can do. And how we just been winging our weekends. Right. Like, but still be having good ass weekends right. like we be having the best time who knows what we'll get into this weekend it's memorial day weekend a three-day weekend the bonfire on the beach oh what day you talking about i don't know yeah he did bring that up earlier this week that'll be a lot mm -hmm. yeah when we did that bonfire when i came to visit what was that in october yeah i think it was october birthday. yeah that was the first time that i did a bonfire on the beach because back in jersey you can't do that like you can't just chill on the beach have drinks and a fire like they don't let you do all that but i hear you can do that and what they let you do that you play volleyball or like, can you play, i mean you yeah play you, can, you can play you can play like bad like volleyball and stuff but they don't let you like do you gotta pay? I think you gotta pay to get on the beach out here, right? To park. To park. Oh, but you don't gotta pay to get on the beach. Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah, I hear you got. <laughs> you. It's way better. Cause I, at, I mean, back in Jersey, you gotta pay to get on the beach per person. At that. <sighs> so like, I think it's like ten per person, or I think it's cheaper for kids. But $10. yeah, ten like, dollars. <laughs> and you gotta find parking and pay for that too. Oh wow. <laughs> You might get something free, but it depends on where you park. Oh, but when I had the bonfire, like my first bonfire coming back in like last October, it was such a vibe. We had some other people there too. Yeah, like we had, had some drinks. Yeah, it was it some was a good time. Energy, yeah. and, like, oh, and then we tried to go to a haunted house. Oh god! After that, we left the bonfire early. Left everybody to go to a haunted house because we bought tickets to it. We get there, the line is like you from, the fact it took us almost like an hour to get there. Oh right. It <laughs> took us it took us an hour, almost an hour to get there from where we were at. Then we get there, the line is tremendously long. Like <laughs> and y'all, we don't like long lines. So when we looked at that line, <laughs> we looked at each other like mm -hmm. Y'all 
Y'all can have that forty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> we wasted forty dollars this but year. We went to Wing Stop. That was yeah. Good. We got some Wing Stop <laughs> after that because it was a Wing Stop close by. And Wing Stop makes everything better. Yeah. But that would be fun to do a bonfire again. So we gotta figure out which day we are gonna do that. So I'll see y'all. Yeah. Right. <laughs> see y'all in a little while. All right, guys. So we came back from the store we had to go to and took our showers and stuff got all settled in now we just chilling we got some music playing it's paused right now because we don't want to copyright mm -hmm. <laughs> and um i'm about to make some salmon over mashed potatoes got the bag mashed potatoes because i ain't, i know how to make homemade but i ain't doing all that right garlic curd oh roasted garlic mashed potatoes and i'm gonna make some like some homemade sauce i don't know what kind of sauce it is but i'll make this sauce with some heavy whipping cream to put on top it's about to slap <laughs> I just finished cooking. I gave y'all a little cooking video. Nothing crazy, but mmm. About to tear it up. That look good, baby. Yeah. Can't believe you gave him the secret sauce. <laughs> <laughs> and we hungry too. <laughs> so we about to eat our food and watch something on Netflix or Prime. We don't know what to watch, so we are currently watching the show called uh, Warriors, which we're almost done. Nah, we'll be on the second season? Yeah, we almost done. It's a third season, right? I think we on the third season. All right, so we on the third season. <laughs> <laughs> and after that, I don't know what to watch anymore. So in the comments, leave some recommendations of some shows that y'all are watching because we need some new shows. We got finished this show called uh, From. Well, yeah, Them. That was a good show. Like, I seen the first season a while ago, like when it first came out, and I just got the quantity to watch it, and we just watched the second season together. Um, then before that, we were watching From. It's kind of similar to Them. Not exactly similar. It's not, it's not exactly similar, but like that type of creepy, like scary vibe. Those were some good ass shows. So now we trying to look for something new to watch. So if y'all got anything good that's on Netflix or Prime, let us know because we need some new shows. And we down to watch some movies too. Yeah. What's good YouTube? So it is Saturday. Uh, it's about like 12.25. I'm on my way to go get a haircut. My appointment is at 12.30. I'm gonna be there like six minutes late, a little behind. 
I took, uh, I had to take the Quante to the Apple store so that he can get his Apple Watch fixed. Well, he has to drop it off so that it can get fixed. So now I'm on a rush to get to my appointment, I'm trying a new barber out. The second time I'm getting my hair cut out here in LA and I'm in the process of trying to find a good barber that does good lineups, fades, all that. Like, I'm not used, like I don't like getting bad haircuts. If I do, I will switch barbers quick. I don't play that. So I'm in the process of finding a new one. So I'm about to try this this guy out today. Hopefully he's good because I don't want to keep looking for barbers. Like I don't like letting a lot of different barbers cut my hair. Just you never know what you're going to get. And I know hair could go back fast. Like my hair goes back fast, but still I don't be with all that. Like I ain't about to. See. I ain't trying to walk out here looking busty. <laughs> and then if this one doesn't work out. I'm probably gonna try DeQuante's barber out because his barber cuts good. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to y'all after this cut so that y'all can see what it's like. I'm back home. I got the fresh cut. I had to get home first. Like I I was gonna record after I left the barber shop, but I had to like put my do rag back on and like wash my hair out because it was kind of puffy. This is the end result. He did pretty good. I feel like he could have blended a little better, but I don't know. I'm gonna give him another chance, but I do like the line of, it's crisp. I'm fucking with it. I feel good now. You know how you, you know how it be after you get that cut, that fresh cut. So now I might go with DeQuante to go get his haircut because his appointment is at 415. So he about to get ready so he could go get his. It's like about 3.38 right now. So I'll get back to y'all later. I'm vanilla, baby. I'm choking, but I ain't no killer, baby. Got the fresh cut. You know, the haircut refresh. Uh, I normally go every two weeks, but this has just been a week. This is yeah, how see, much I, I think should you, yeah, go. I think, you're gonna, yeah. I think I have to go every week. Like, yeah, I want I want to go every week or at least try to. You say keep your skin clear. Yeah, it, it do be like that. <laughs> <laughs> Shirt and a tie under it, some shorts, high socks. Yeah, I can see it. Y'all, so we just left that thrift store. I didn't find anything. The Quante film. The whole outfit. Yeah, the whole outfit for. <laughs> we got like one picture to go off of. Like, we need like a whole fucking mood board. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I think the but, vibe is like sports but like kind of dressed up like yeah so his, his fit is like a well y'all gonna see <laughs> but it's like a blazer jacket with a jersey tucked in with some white shorts and like a tie and then in the picture that we like trying to at least go off of the other the other model is wearing just black pants and a helmet <laughs> I'm not wearing no helmet. It's really basic. So yeah, I'm trying to figure out what to wear. Couldn't find anything at that thrift store. I think, what is it called? Iguana? Yeah. Something Igu oh, Hollywood. Yeah, Iguana thrift store. So now we about to go to another one. What's that one called? Jet Rags. Jet Rags. We about to check that one out and see what's good. We gonna see if I can find something. If I could put something together. Honestly, when I do photo shoots, I love when there's a stylist there or somebody has the office already ready because like i'm not all the way into my fashion bag yet like i don't know how to pitch shit like that together yet 
or just come with shit off the dome. Like I can't do that yet. When I be looking for outfits for shoots, I be I be feeling like I be struggling. But I got the Quante the LB. So oh, you think I'm in my fashion bag? You you put that fit together <laughs> pretty good with that off the picture we got. Yeah. So we'll see. I feel like that's all I do is look at pictures. Like I look at pictures of outfits all day. I have so many saved. This is yeah. I don't be buying them. <laughs> right. <laughs> but to spend a hundred dollars at the thrift store is diabolical. It right. Is. He spent one oh three. What a discount. Right, with a discount. I feel like anything in this thrift store, that shit should be below $20. Yeah. What the fuck? If we're going to be playing regular parties, I might as well go to the, the regular like, store. Yeah, like, I might as well go to fucking like, Zara. Yeah. Yeah, nigga. <laughs> it was sitting there that was ripped up. Like, I'm talking about ripped, tore up. $60. Like, somebody got into a fight and just was straight yanking that bitch. <laughs> And it was like $65, a hundred something dollars. I'm like, what? Who the fuck is paying for that? Who buying that? They better get them to the homeless people or something. <laughs> I don't even think a homeless person will wear how ripped up that shit was. <laughs> we, gonna, we gonna see what we could do. Y'all gonna see the results when- uh, When it go viral, when you it, heard me? Uh-huh, you heard that? When them pictures come out, y'all gonna see. <laughs> so I'll get back to y'all when we go, um, Get to the other third story. Morning, YouTube. It's Sunday, so y'all already know what that means. Praise the Lord. <laughs> We on our way to church. About to hear the word. Well, we hope we hear a word. Because the last few times, they just were just worshiping. They were like, oh, we feel it in the room. We just feel like we're going to take a different route today. And it happened like two weeks in a row. Right. <laughs> quiet, sing. Sing quiet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm, I'm trying to hear a word. I'm trying to feel something in my soul. So we're going to get back to y'all after church. church the service was good we talked about uh you know the holy spirit and how we should pray and acknowledge the holy spirit and not just god in uh god and jesus which i took in because i i never um really acknowledge the holy spirit when i pray or talk to god or whatever the case may be so I was like, I'm gonna definitely work on that. But now, freshening up and I'm gonna go to a day party that's at like four o'clock. It's 3.03 right now. So we just about to chill for a little while. We bought a ticket that skipped the line. Yeah. <laughs> Cause we ain't trying to wait in the line. So yeah, so we getting ready for that. Maybe, I don't know get a bottle or something but yeah this barber he did his thing on my haircut look at the wigs i love my wigs Ooh. so i'm about to put this back on let's see how it my baby mm. looks good yeah fixing his hair real too mm -hmm. Ask Look at them moisture. curls. So I think I'm gonna start this like okay. patting the access out with like a like a towel. Just like kind of oh, patting yeah. paper towel. What's up, YouTube? So, 
we are in the Hollywood. Um, we just we had just got to the uh, spot where the day party is at. House though. Yes, at Penthouse. Um, it's a little too early because <laughs> there was no line to yeah, skip. <laughs> that bitch was dead, and I'm like, we're not about to go in there yet. So we about to walk around, probably walk towards Hollywood Ho Boulevard. Yeah, Hollywood Boulevard, and like maybe see what's around there until and then check back at that spot a little later when it's a little more popping let's walk to hollywood 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 oh it's the lights you're blinded by a fashion <laughs> i do check back up with y'all last night i just made some breakfast he already tearing it up you know me <laughs> but yeah we uh we were what was that called phl penthouse 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 was a vibe that was that was mad fun y'all want to see they had girls up in a up in the sky <laughs> swinging on airplanes and whatever else that thing was surfboards, surfboards. <laughs> yeah but it definitely was fun and then we went to west hollywood to this spot called trunks too it was crowded um and then after that we just came home and went to sleep but today we have a photo shoot at um six or six thirty six o'clock i think I wish it was earlier. So we plan on barbecuing today. And we're like, damn, like we wish the shoot was early so that we could like shoot and then enjoy a barbecue after that. You know, vibe out, finish our, our long three day weekend off. I guess the photographer only had later today available. Yeah, he had something to do. Yeah. So we're gonna try and barbecue before that, which means I don't think I'm gonna eat that much. <laughs> probably wait till after to really eat. I'll probably eat a little bit. But I was thinking about like eating lunch for work and stuff tomorrow. Why? Right, I feel like yeah, with the meal prep. Yeah, right. Yeah, because we be needing food during the week for work. Because I don't be trying to go anywhere during my break. Because I work all the way on the 15th fucking floor <laughs> in my building. That's crazy. Right. That elevator be taking long as hell. It be like, I'll be waiting for like a good five minutes, five to eight minutes, literally, because they're so slow. And it's it's six elevators in there, but it's this one elevator. It's the freight elevator, and it's down. So that one elevator being down makes all them other elevators slow as fuck. The what elevator? The freight elevator, <laughs> I guess. Freight. Freight. But I said it's fright. Fright. That's scary. That's like uh, scary. That's 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 it was like, um, yeah, the, the freight elevators will be down from, you know, so-and-so date. Like, so they know the dates, was, what it's going to be down to. Mm. I think it's just a couple more weeks. So I feel like they should give us, like, an extra five minutes on top just so that we can at least make it outside to go find something. Because, <laughs> right. shit, by the time you get outside, break almost over. I strict already about coming back from break. Like, Not strict. 
I'll take That's my five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right, because I'll be peeping some of them be uh, taking long breaks. I mean, take five more minutes to get back up, so that's ten minutes of elevator time. That's ten minutes, of, right? That's that's literally half your break almost. I mean, don't let you order something; you gotta wait for that to be done. You gonna right. have two minutes to eat? Literally. That's why I sometimes, like, when I be uh, talking to you and I go outside, I be feeling like I'm resting. Like, yeah, I literally got like what eight minutes to eat, and then my ass gotta go right back up because it's taking me time just to get back to the fifteenth floor. Right. So long story short, what? Long story short is don't, your employees don't work better. on the 15th floor. Yes, yeah. <laughs> don't work on the 15th. <laughs> you, know, you want to interview with Flo Yalo? Right, <laughs> be like, oh, never mind. I, I can't do that. I don't work on, <laughs> work on that. You yeah. hide in the third floor. Right. No, I can't do that. If I can't take the stairs, I don't want to work that. I'm be like, I got PTSD from the last job. Could you imagine taking the stairs from the 15th floor? Oh, I did it. Oh, you did? On my 10 minute break. <laughs> Boy, that's it. As soon, as soon as I got on my 10 minute break, cause we don't get like a 15, which is, I don't understand why. Cause usually jobs do like two 15 minutes in a um, a 30. They do two, two 10 minutes in a 30. So, this day I was hungry. I was mad hungry and it was my first break of the day and the elevator would be slow. And I'm like, if I wait, that that break, half of that break is going by the time I get. So literally I will go down and go back up and that'll be the break. So I'm like, all right, I'm hungry. I know a store that's right across the street that, you know, I probably can't get anything made, but I can get like a little snack and like a drink. Soon as my break started was because the the stairway is right across from our suite mm -hmm. for the we're on the floor. As soon as my break started, I was <laughs> running down. You came back up the elevator. I mean, up the stairs. Oh, you took the elevator back up. Nah, because I got down the stairs so fast that I had enough time to just get back on the elevator. Mm -hmm. I said I'm not running back all the yeah. fifteen flights of hell. That's a nice workout, though. It was a workout. It really was. I ain't doing that. <laughs> I was on go, but yeah, I'm just yapping. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I would get back to y'all when we like actually start our day because we right. we might be going to the store. Well, I'm not gonna say might. We we need to go to the store to grab some things, and then um, get back to to barbecue. So later, the sun coming out. Right as it should. Yeah. What's up with this? So he told me in June. I'm, I'm still yeah. <laughs> he told me June in LA is like June goon. That's true. That's crazy because I never heard of that before. But I feel like I'm starting to believe it because it's been gloomy like <laughs> the past week. But the sun do it does come out. It does wind up right. coming out. So that's the good thing. Like if it was just gloomy all day, that would kind of suck. Yeah, but it's not even June yet, though. Oh, right. <laughs> so the gloomy days are to come. Some days it stays just gloomy. Damn. I know. It might as well just rain. Exactly. <laughs> I feel, I'm pretty sure you got some rain coming up, though. You probably do. I'm feeling in my knees. You feel it in your knees? <laughs> mm -hmm. It's some metal in here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, I'll see y'all later. Peace out. We back. We back, back, back. back we about back. to head to the grocery store to grab a few things to uh, put on the grill. Well, no, we got the stuff already, but just like some little exercise though. And then, um, get going grill. We gonna stop at the, maybe stop at the liquor store and get that them little margarita thing. Oh, um, I mean, they might have been in the grocery store. Oh, right. Yeah, get something to drink. And then our photo shoot is later. We about to kill that shit. Hey, probably for the dinner. Uh, trying to look for some chicken and sausage. I wonder if it's like packaged in a different type of... I 
I thought it was. Yeah. Like, I, I've seen how it looked at Turkey. It's like in a box. And it's like apple, chicken sauce. Mm -hmm. Maybe we gotta go in like three. Maybe because this is beef. So. Do they sell chicken sauce for you? Habanero green chili. Is that chicken? Yep, chicken sauce. Yeah, I think that all this is, good. right? Chicken rings, chicken rings. Yeah, all this is chicken. <laughs> what, oh, the habanero green chili? What you think? Yeah, we could try that one. Probably got a little kick to it. Right. He's been a big trooper with. No, we need the drinks. To our pharmacy. World of care right here in the store. See the pharmacy for you. Trying to get like, like a margarita type drink, like something like these. Those would be good. Which one? Oh, see, they got the variety pack. That might be the only one, to be honest. I don't see the regular. Uh... Oh, no, it's not good. Oh, yeah. Which one you like more? Because I. I don't like mango. I know I don't like the mango. Would you like the rest of them? Uh, yeah, the rest of them would be fine. Yes, sir? Like this one? No, no, there's no. Got this. Some bread. El pan. El pan. I don't know why this bread feels weirdly located. Like it shouldn't be in the aisle. Right, I'm used to it like being in like section. Yeah. Right. Oh, right there. Which one do you want to get? Um, oh, they got the bros. Those good, yeah, we can get those. Good buns look shiny. That's some good buns. You got some good buns. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so we didn't have to get too much because we pretty much had everything already. So we just got the drink, the buns, and chicken sauces. sauces. It's getting nasty. Buns and stuff. <laughs> And that's it. But we definitely gonna have to come back again like in a few days because we got a little bunch of stuff to do. Yeah, we're gonna We back at the crib. And I'm packing the drinks. Mm -hmm. This is what we got. We got some shrimp, chicken, turkey meat. We're gonna make some uh burgers out of that. We about to start prepping it. So we just letting some of this unthaw a little bit. But we about to prep it and then take it out there to grill. It's 2.11 right now. So we got, we have about um, maybe until like 4.30, 5 o'clock. Because we have a shoot at 6. I'm, I'm going to say 4.30. So we got a little bit of time. Then behind the scenes of Enrique Enrique <laughs> Enrique Reek behind the scenes of Reek huh? Reek's life Reek at work <laughs> so we finished prepping the food DeQuante he goes up to uh you know, just to get ready to set the grill up and all that. He goes up there, all the grills are taken. He checked earlier, there was nobody there. So we went to the grocery store, got some stuff, came, prepped the food, like we got, we got the chicken season. 
We got the burgers, all meat. Just made some, uh, I guess, jambalaya rice. That's bomb. Go try it. Too good. Oh, we got like just some mac and cheese and uh, beans. So yeah, we got we got a lot for just us two. We gonna we gonna tear it up. But we gotta wait till after our photo shoot to um, to grill it because all the grills are taken. So we just. I don't know, I guess we just gonna chill for now. Yeah. <laughs> now I just recorded the whole, that whole thing we just did with the tasting of the jambalaya. I, it was I recorded it in slow motion. <laughs> I don't know how the, how the hell that happened. Damn. I think it is. But you should, you think you could like, Undo drag the slow, the slow motion or like, delete like you know on the app like on here if i record something in slow motion you could like drag it out or you could like make it to where it barely even in slow motion oh but we was i was talking and everything but i wonder how that worked like how would you do that <laughs> that's just slow slow <laughs> look Boom, boom, boom. And that beep, was so beep. funny what we was talking about. All right, right. Oh yeah, you gotta figure out how to look. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so he was <laughs> So he was talking about how uh the, the, the rice is just a whole a burst of flavors and he was like just come at you all at once like bang 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 and I was like mink, mink, mink. <laughs> It's good though. It really is. <laughs> we just gonna Chill just for a little bit and then get ready to go ahead to the shoot. Oh, don't get too close. <laughs> Yo, we out here. I asked one of these girls, cause they was leaving from a grill. I said, did that grill work that y'all was at? She was like, oh, they a couple, that's the girl. Huh? That's the girl, the I think so. Ooh. But, um, <laughs> I was about to say, oh yeah, but I asked the girl at the table she was sitting at that had a grill, and she said that none of the grills was working. She was like, oh, it's only one grill that's like working, which is the one over here with these people. That's the only one apparently. And there's like a good five or six, like five or six grills up here on this rooftop. So the fact that only one is working is crazy. Disrespectful. Right, especially because the rent here is like high. So it's like, I feel like they should be on it with everything. With the grills, sometimes it'd be hard for to get the fireplaces to even work up here. I'm um, gonna write a letter. Yo, write that letter. <laughs> I'm gonna that. have a bitch fit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm calling corporate. I'm calling. <laughs> Let me sit here. Yeah, oh, check these margaritas. Oh, I got the Cayman Jack. <laughs> oh yeah, they two different. Yeah. But yeah, we just chilling out here. It feel mad nice outside. The Quante just left to go get the Uno cars, so we gonna come back. We gonna play some Uno for a little while. Let's see who who, who has in Uno. I haven't played Uno in a while, so I have no idea. What's up, y'all? So we are about to head out to go to our photo shoot. I just did a little quick workout, a little abs and some push-ups, freshened up. 
about to head out. You ready? Baby, can you put this on for me, baby? Oh, yeah. Ready? Yes. We about to shoot. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. That's why I'm putting right on my abs. <laughs> All right. Some oil. Yeah, I'm gonna be shooting shirtless. And this one, he got the fit. You know me, fashion killer. <laughs> <laughs> What's up guys? We back home from our photo shoot. It went really well. We got some some dope pictures. Yeah, we didn't have too many different, like we didn't have too many outfit, outfit changes, but it was good. What's I agree. It was good, I had fun. It was good to be back in front of the camera. Hopefully get some good viral pictures. Right, something. Yeah, yeah, I haven't. So I model, but I haven't modeled since I was back home. Last time I had a shoot was probably like, well, I've been here two months now, so probably was like three months ago. So it's been a minute, and I'm trying to get back into that. So now we about to grill. Oh, not. Well, yeah, hopefully <laughs> it's not working. No, or, I haven't tried yet. Oh yeah, we gotta see if this this grill work. But um, we're gonna grill some burgers and some chicken. And that's pretty much it. We already made like all the sides, but we just about to do this. And then you think we're gonna get in the hot tub? Uh, it closes at ten. It's already eight fifteen. Maybe, uh, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. Probably not. But we we at least just gonna grill this. Yeah. This is my first time barbecuing like by myself. For real? Wow, so it's both of ours. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I just, yeah, like, it, it's always been, like, my parents barbecuing or somebody else barbecuing, Dang. but for me to start the grill, put the meat the on, on it. Wow. Look at us. Let me check it again. Can you do like the light and go together? Set all we go together. Like that one, not a top with the light. Well, you can see the other one like over here. All right, the chicken is done. Look at that, look at that glaze, that, that barbecue sauce. Oh, we should put some honey on it. Ooh, <laughs> that would have been. Honey sriracha. Yeah. And then we just got the burgers, the last thing. We got three, three with uh, barbecue sauce, three with the same for the chicken. And then that's it. We gonna go back to the crib and that will be our memorial day barbecue extravaganza, extravaganza. <laughs> <laughs> we're finally home we showered and now it's time to eat bon appetit what's up youtube it's monday and i am getting off of work heading home I never closed the vlog out yesterday, so 
I need to do that now. I had a great weekend. It was very eventful. Did a lot. Sunday fun day. We were out all day. We got our haircut Saturday. What else? What else did we do? Damn. Got short term memory loss or something. Oh, the photo shoot, we barbecue. We had a good time. What the fuck? What are you doing? This is not going to stop the fuck. Excuse me. <laughs> Motherfucker just going to keep walking in the middle of the street as cars was driving by. But um, you see how I just put my seatbelt on? <laughs> but uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to this upcoming weekend because me and DeQuante are going to a gala. So that'll be fun. We're gonna get all fly. I've been feeling really good lately. Like grateful to have a loving partner and to be able to live together in a place that I've always wanted to live and just explore and do things together it's like the best feeling and then it's like even though i don't have family up here thank god for technology and facetime it feels good to be able to like you know still talk to them and see their faces i just feel so like happy and grateful and ready to just keep elevating like i want like us elevating together and accomplishing all of our goals and dreams i feel like we're, we're very passionate people and there's a lot of things that we want to accomplish and it just feels good to know that like we're heading towards that we're in the right i feel like we're in the right direction and we're in alignment with a lot of the things that we want out of life especially with me going to church right now i just started going to church this year yeah this year and then before that it was some years since i've been in church but it feels good to to go back and just just hear some wise words and, and you know some words that'll just put you in a good headspace i feel like there's a lot of a lot of great things that are going to come in the near future as long as we stay consistent and keep putting that foot forward, no matter what, good things are going to come. And I really, truly believe that. <laughs> That's something hitting, boy. But yeah, so I'm about to be home in like a couple minutes. I'm literally right around the corner. I would have been there if I didn't miss my turn. But I just wanted to close this vlog out. I want to say thank you for watching. I'm, I'm really grateful for all of the supporters who are taking our time out of their day to immerse themselves in my life and Quante's life. So yeah, see y'all next week.